What'd you take that off for, Dan? Uh, we're a little, we're a little wide, and uh, just in case something smucks it or whatever, right? Safe than sorry. Your mirrors don't count in your overall width when they're on your, your truck driving on the road, but we're not sure exactly if it counts if your truck's on a trailer. So just to be safe, we're taking those mirrors off. Morning, Joel. How are you? Good. What day is it? Oh, it's go time. It's go, go time. time. Now we're down to the last few hours. We're both getting ready to haul Carl here. It's not Carl's first time on Joel's truck either. He drove Carl to the Lethbridge Truck Show. Now he's helping us out driving to the Vancouver Truck Show. So we appreciate Joel. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a pleasure to help out with you. It's all essentially part of history when you think about it. It's going to be a great day today. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great trip. Everybody's in good spirits. We're locked and loaded and ready to go. And you're running shuttle. Yep, I'm waiting for passengers. Anybody wants to come. Instead of running parts today, you're running a couple, a few tools. <laughs> got the trucks loaded up, got all the gear loaded up. It is first thing in the morning on Thursday and we are headed to the Fully Charged Show. Going to the show. Yeah, things are going good right now. We're on the convoy down there. Joel's got Carl. John's got the top seat on the back of him. And yeah, it's exciting. Uh, everything looks solid on the truck. None of the panels are flopping around. Nothing's wiggling. It's it's a solid truck out there. John made us take the mirrors off. One thing I wanted to test. I'm like, okay, we'll make sure the mirrors are solid. They should be. We put a. It's got three bolts holding that thing on on the swivel point and reinforced so it should be solid we're like oh, okay we'll be able to test that when it's uh look at it on the truck john's like oh on a load you got to take the mirrors off well, but so the one thing i wanted to test for wiggly isn't on the truck but other than that it's doing pretty good So if anyone watching is interested on how we got the shots, we're in a pilot truck and we're ripping up in front and Chase is running up banks and we're trying to get in front to get the drone up Standing in there. on the edge of the cliff trying to fly by and then I'm, thought, I'm like, oh, that's a beautiful overhead shot. Oh, we could have got a drone to get that shot. I didn't have to run on top of the cliff. How's your trip so far? So Smooth. Far so good. A little slow for us, but we're getting there. You're not used to doing 20 down the smasher? No, we're kind of more triple digit guys, but it gets the job done. What were they saying on that one? Oh, uh, the one fella, the one logger there was going on about the truck show and then how, like they seen this first and then I heard him see that thing. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. It's like a diesel electric hybrid. It's one of the first. You no, know, they're pretty excited about it. 
And they're loggers, so that's, a, that's yeah. a good sign. There. That's a really good sign when the loggers are getting excited yeah, on the radio. So we don't have a, a VHF radio in our truck, but Joel does. And Joel heard the chatter on Lad 1, the truckers getting all excited as we're driving by them. People recognizing Carl, people recognizing Topsy. So that's pretty cool. She looks good. She looks good. It's exciting. I can't get over, like, it turned out better than I thought it would. I wasn't sure on the design, but once we actually see it done, I love this thing. It's like an old kind of Pacific C500. Like, you know how Pacific's had that offset cab on the old off-highway, like the P16 cab is offset so you could see down. It has that, so it's like driving an old Pacific, a little bit smaller, a little bit highway size, fender styling of the old one, but with like the old butterfly hood off like a seat. Like, I, I really like this. After I drove it up and onto the low bed, I really, really like it. Like for the visibility, you mean? Oh, the easiest truck to load onto a low bed. You could look down it, see where both tires are going, up and on, quiet, smooth. I'm really, really proud of what the crew did here. Why, hello, sir. How's your drive down so far, Nigel? Oh, it's been extremely exciting. It's so good to see these trucks on the on the road, man. So exciting. It is. It's pretty cool to see it on the road, on the low bed. So cool. I just thrilled. I big moments, man. Big moments, it's really cool. So if anyone remembers during brigade days, the mountain was on fire. You could see the fire in the background. That's actually the mountain that was on fire. Here we are exactly one year later with not only Carl, but Topsy on the burnt up mountain. Literally a year ago today, we were showing off Carl at the truck show in Hope. That mountain was on fire. Now, one year later, we are down here with Topsy heading to the big show in Vancouver. It's we're making incredible, incredible advancement. Like I, I can't get over how fast this company is growing and it's exciting. Hey, you'll, you'll know what truck it is. <laughs> it's the big white and black one. There's a blue one that'll be first. We'll just let him roll. Okay. And then we'll get the weight of the white and black truck. All right. Okay, so we're just at the uh, Hunter Creek Scales here. We're getting the truck's weight. Joel will be coming across here in a little bit and we're gonna figure out exactly what this truck weighs. The only thing about this plan and weighing the truck is that we need to get John's empty weight after this. So we won't actually know the weight of the truck until John heads home and tells us his empty truck weight. All right, we got Joel coming up first onto the scales. We already know what car weighs. 8,800 kgs. Eleven thousand six hundred and eighty. Fourteen thousand eight hundred, fifteen thousand. All right. Nope, not bad at all. Like, that's a crazy little chip mark. What a crazy bastard. I don't know oh, if you guys can you. see this, but there's a stowaway chipmunk <laughs> driving on Carl. Oh, there's two. Oh, there there are? are? Hey, let me help. So we've already measured twice, but we pulled over to measure one last time our height before we go under that overpass because there's no way we're going to be that guy that hits that overpass. 75 plus 83. Yeah, 158. Plus 8. 166 inches. 4.2 meters. So we're good. So we have a total of 7 inches of clearance. Oh, that's massive. Oh, yeah. 7 <laughs> inches is huge. That's way more than anybody needs. Yeah. A little excessive almost. Yeah, it's almost too much. He's right here. What? right here. 18 plus 66 plus 81. Yeah, oh, we got seven and a half inches. This is what professional truck drivers do instead of hitting the bridge. Looking at you. Every gravel wagon in Vancouver. Alright, 
going under the bridge. So we're here, we're in Vancouver, we're at the conference center. Chase is driving, Joel's up there, right. then we got John from Mario's, and we are going in to scope it out, figure out where we can unload and just get a, a, some insider information about how to do this. Yeah. I have learned the lesson that before you drive a low bed into an underground area, you'll better check as what's under that underground area. Yeah, better take a look. 4.5 meters, we're good there. How do we tell which building is which? That's a question. Vancouver Convention the Center receiving. Yeah, I don't think we're unloading there. All I need is that number at the very top. Oh, I was just talking to my brother about you guys. Oh, right, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he, drive, he drives big rigs. So. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're trying to uh, figure out how to get unloaded. We came here, and no one really knows what we're doing. I don't think people understand when we're saying low bed that, that low bed, like I, we're saying like big rigs, trucks, low beds, and they're like, oh, go unload at the Fairmont parking lot. Yeah, we're like, we got semi trucks oh, on low beds, and yeah. they sent us in like the car route, where on like the main downtown road rather than the underground unloading area. So we'll see. There's no way that the trucks would be on the top floor, right? Like, why'd you put the trucks on the top floor? Well, maybe. So we left them in a pullout on the side of the road. So we're down underneath though, right? Yeah. Down no. and then... Uh, they're not quite underneath, they're at the entrance to the underneath. So what do you want to deal with first, that or that? Might as well deal with uh, that. I think right. low beds first. Okay. You guys tell me. Uh, low beds first. Low yeah. beds. Okay, let's go down then. It's pretty cool. Light tower right in front of the conference center. Light tower right in front. We're going downstairs, so okay. if you guys all want to get down to where you are, I'm going to go down to the halls now. We're going to get you in uh, through those loading bays. Oh, you're parked there. Okay, so you're going to keep coming, mm -hmm. and you're going to go kind of underground. Keep going, keep yeah. going, keep going, keep going. Right here, there's an underground, and the loading bay is right there at the start of the, the building. little gate there? Yeah, it's, yeah, a, that's it's a big gate. Yeah, that's where we went first. Scissor down, drop the trailers and all that inside there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what the perfect. hell? They may give you different instructions, but that's what I say right now. Sounds so. good. We'll make we it happen though. Like to ask before we get places with trucks and trailers. We ran out of seats. Richard showed up, so we ran out of seats. So I'm just riding in the back. Oh, I guess I could have went Big Easy. Now think about it. Big Easy's got a crew cab with that lots of extra seats. And he's right there. There was no need for me to ride in the back. All right, we're going underground here, so you know we're going to be on them digs. If I know you, if you're not taking in a tunnel, you're doing it wrong. I don't care what the Parked underground, got Topsy over there. What an absolutely cool spot to come in and unload. That's awesome.
Oh, I missed. We are so bad at fist pumps. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, let me you gotta give her two of Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Boys, not so far. Yep. Beyond the battery. All right. We did it. God damn, we did it. Wow, that's something that would love to Feels so good. Went in here, worked perfectly. We were worried, we're like, well, it's gonna be bouncing on the back of a truck for three hours, and it's a sweet shot with those lights. We did it. We did it. Job, like I was man. worried. Like, worried it was gonna be on the back of a low bed, bouncing down the road for three hours, what happened? It still worked perfectly, which means it can survive road travel. Test one, done. Yep, now for test number two. Let's get Carl in here. That's always more of a pain. Carl's a little bit. Now we'll see what the difference between our version from a year ago. Eric, you want to hop in? Might as well enjoy the ride. You built the damn thing. You had a spotter on the ass in there. Yeah. Certainly, I should maybe just stood out the top. Oh, that's all good. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know you are. You're doing great. <laughs> Through the tires squealing. That's the only thing you hear, though. All That's right. pretty good. Okay, hey, I'll disengage it. Yep. Okay, go, go for it. I go. Just watch it. There is a booth right there. I see it. We got a big bumper. Yeah, it's we did. It's fine. I should have my glasses on, but I got, of all things, Diesel engine antifreeze all over them. But it's good. It's pretty standard in an EV truck show. There, it's like, get out of my way. Get out of my shot. For us, it's a, it's a yeah. question of if, it's a question of when is this shot going on for all of us. Yeah. Both <laughs> trucks work perfectly. Yes, that was. Yep. Good when job, you Jason. came in large, I was a fan. Yeah. 